bless your name. Father, we exalt your name. We give you praise. All an adoration, Jehovah, my Father. Yahweh, small I come to you, Yeshua, Mashiach. We thank you, Lady of the Valley. We thank you, Jehovah, For in Jesus' name we praise and worship. Amen. Come on, begin to put your hands together for Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. I want you to turn to your neighbor and give him or her a wonderful smile. Jesus smile. Come on, smile. I say, give a wonderful Jesus smile. There is a difference between to laugh and to smile. A lot of people can all smile. I laugh like you laugh. Can you smile a Jesus smile? <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus one more time. We want to thank the praise and worship team such a wonderful time in leading us into the presence of God. We don't want to waste time this afternoon. We want to go straight to the program and we want to call Pastor Nathaniel H. Kamara to give us the welcome address. Let's put our hands together for him. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is so good to be in the house of the Lord. We no good will afford for the end inside happy like this. Pass inside with Papa in us. Just for a short while, I just want to say you are welcome into our 12th annual Thanksgiving. And stay blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful service. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Let's clap our hands together for him. We're not going to waste time that much today. Amen? So, when you get something for do, do it what? A willow, sharp, sharp. Somebody say, a willow. Say, lamp, lamp. Hallelujah. Declaration of purpose. Let's put your hands together for Minister John Conte Barrett. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Amen. You know, we are gathered here this afternoon for a singular purpose. That is to extol him for the things that he's been doing for us as a church. You know, today is a very special occasion because we are celebrating our 12th annual Thanksgiving. Can you celebrate Jesus? Amen. And all through this year, it, it, it has been God. He has been faithful. It is God that has been with us from the first year unto this time. And we know that he who is faithful will always remain faithful. So we are here this afternoon gathered just to give him praise, to give him thanks, to celebrate his goodness to us as a ministry. Amen. Let's put our hands together for him. Now I know that we are celebrating 12 years anniversary. Don't you think we have a reason to thank God for that? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. 12 years is not 12 days. It's not 12 months. Praise God. Let's celebrate the Papa of the house. People of God, listen. Some of them are given church, let them go pastor for one month, one month. To pastor a church for 12 years, it's not easy. Jesus said that three and a half years I pastor. Nine and killer. If they're not being killed at the church with a pastor, at the church for killer. Ministry is not easy. Celebrate our Papa one more time. Put your hands together for Jesus. I don't like the way you clap this afternoon. Hallelujah. Amen. My heart has no desire to stay. We are doubt arise and fear dismay. Through some may dwell where this abound. My prayer, my hand is higher ground. Him number one, I'm pressing on the upward way. Shall we please be upstanding as we sing the opening in higher ground?
open our Bible to Genesis 18. We are looking from verse 1 to 14. Are you with me this afternoon? Genesis 18, 1 to 14, it reads, Then the Lord appeared to him by the terrible tree of Mary, as he was sitting in the tent door in the heat of the day. So he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, three men were standing by him. And when he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the ground, to the ground and said, My Lord, if I have now found favor in your sight, do not pass on by your servant. Please let a little water 
be brought and wash your feet and rest and rest yourself under the tree and I will bring a morsel of bread that you may refresh your heart after that you may pass by in as much as you have come to your servant they said do as you have said six and Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah and said quickly make ready three measures of fine meal kneel it and make cake and Abraham ran so the heart took a tender and good half, gave it to, the, to a young man, and he hastened to prepare it. Verse 8. So he took butter and milk and calf which he had prepared and set it before them. And, and he stood by them under the tree as they ate. Verse 9. And they said to him, Where is Sarah your wife? So he said, here in the tent. Verse 10. And he said, I will certainly return to you according to the time of life. And behold, Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. Sarah was listening in the tent door, which was behind him. 11. Now Abraham and Sarah, we are all well advanced in age. And Sarah had passed the age of childbearing. 12. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, after I have gone home, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being older also? 13. And the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I surely bear a child, since I am old? 14. Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you, according to the time of life, and Sarah, and Sarah shall have a son. This is the word of the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to move from item number seven quickly. And we want to have intercession for our nation, Sierra Leone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the Apostle Doctor, Reverend Mrs. Irene Samsumana. Come on, put your hands together for her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know they go up high table and pray and they pray and push this small. Let the devil know say today's rallying for free inside Jesus' name. Una let we all grab tin up. I know I let you watch your neighbor where if they pray. Forget about waiting you wear. I want let you concentrate on waiting Papa God get for do ya today. We they pray for the nation of Sierra Leone. If you travel go America, you are not a second class citizen. But inside Sierra Leone, you are a first class citizen. I want to let you pray for this nation. Let we not be partisan. You say me na APC, me na SLPP, me na UNDP. We are praying for our beloved nation. Because yeah, you they feel free for do what you want to. But when you go to other man country, and they tell you say you na slave day, you not go able to do what you they do now. Yeah. So now look say not only party then a power and not they pray. I don't want you to look to that, but I want you to look that God is about to do something great in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can somebody shout Jesus? Jesus! Is that the way you are shouting? Can you shout again, Jesus? Jesus! Jesus! The first prayer point. We the hand over the president and the entire cabinet so Papa God. If you the vex say you not they pray, now me and you they suffer. In the suffer, wait till they suffer. Wait do clean it, they get everything where we want eat. So let we pray, let God give a wisdom how for rule this nation. Anything where it go make, anyone where we mislead them, let God then take them out inside Papa God in name. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. Oh God. Oh God. We present unto you. We present unto you. Our president. Our president. Minister. Minister. Members of cabinet. Members of cabinet. For wisdom. For wisdom. For knowledge. For knowledge. For understanding. For understanding. And 
teach them and teach them how to rule and how to rule, to rule the nation of Syria. The nation of Syria. They come by us by the power of God. By the power of God. It's a party. It's a party. Salon no go better. Better thing no go can salon. Empower them at the tongue. We begin and they grab up. We the pray that Sierra Leone take a new course. And let the power of God take over Sierra Leone. That we begin then no go suffer. We begin then go learn inside Jesus' name. Repeat after me. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my maker. My father, my country. If this country is sweet, now me and you, they enjoy. But if it's bitter, and they tell you, you're not going to able to get one daily square meal. By right, every Sierra Leonean, for each three ten per day, not to everybody can afford that now. If you get for get breakfast, you get lunch, you get dinner. Some of you, they eat one thing. You not get the money. We they pray, let God touch the currency. Let power enter the currency. That God in grace will be sufficient over the land. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father, my maker, my father, my God, 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 Hallelujah, 
Remember Sierra Leone in the name of Jesus. Amen. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father, my maker, my father, my maker, touch the heart, touch the heart, and mind of investors, of investors, to come to Sierra Leone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let them bring jobs, let them bring jobs in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them bring jobs, let them bring jobs. the nation of Sierra Leone. I believe Sierra Leone has risen again in the name of Jesus. We shall all enjoy in the mighty name of Jesus. Investors shall come in the mighty name of Jesus. Open doors shall be for Sierra Leone Amen. and your mercy will be upon Sierra Leone. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you shall bless our currency Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. You, in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus and let's celebrate the woman of God for such a wonderful time of praying for our nation. Sierra Leone. Thank you so much. Apostle I read some Shumana. God bless you. We want to go into a melodrama quickly. Please, we are dealing with time. We don't want to waste time. So, we want to have melodrama quickly. Let's put us together for the team as they bless our heart this afternoon. The team for melodrama, please, quickly. Let's clap until they come. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them.
Daddy, don't talk to me. Said the one for can dance. Jesus, no, me and Reverend Lawrence. No, 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 say we serve can dance. But let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, we want to go to the second scripture reading. Let's put our hands together as we welcome Pastor Daniel Sayambasu for the second scripture reading. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. Our second scripture reading is taken from the book of Genesis 28. We're we'll looking at verse 10 down to verse 22. Genesis 28, 10 down to 22. It reads, And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went towards Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows, and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of the Lord of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. And the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee, until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid, and said, How dreadful is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning, and took the stone, that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel. But the name of the, that city 
was called laws at the first. And finally, verse 20, okay, verse 20, sorry, and Jacob vowed a vow saying, if God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone, verse 22, last verse, and this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. And all and of all thou shalt give me, I will surely give thee tent unto thee. This is the word of the Lord. Let's put hands together for the word of God. Hallelujah. The people of God, we have been here today to celebrate a wonderful ministry that God gave to a servant of God. For many of us, we don't know where it all started. And it will be very good for us to know where it all started to challenge our faith. According to Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, being confident of this very thing, that he that has begun the good work is absolutely able to bring it to completion. Thus far, it has been gone. But we want to know what exactly and where God has taken this ministry from and to where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, bring in the brief statement is our father in the house. The called servant that God has given this vision and mandate to run with it. Shall we please be upstanding as we put hands together for his grace, the apostle, Emmy, Gage. Put your hands together for him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and good afternoon. Can we take our seat please? Thank you. I want to thank God for 12 years of his grace, his faithfulness, and his loving kindness. The vision is over 12 years. It took me 11 years for me to start. So if I have started, it will have been 22 years now, 23 years ago. But everything has a time. It has an appointed time. We started at Aberdeen at the M&M &M restaurant, the runabout, and we were 17 for the very first service. And today we are 12 years, and today is the 12. So we have seen so many things. We have seen the faithfulness of God. We have moved from we moved from Aberdeen to the nursing school at Light Football St. Street, and I started another branch here. So I have to match the nursing school and this branch. I was preaching at the nursing school at nine, and at ten I will take Okada and I will give instruction fly, so that I can be here to preach at ten. It has been a long journey. It has not been easy. But there is one thing I thank God for, for His grace. The grace of God has seen me through. We were at the um, Dead Maranatha School. It was a very dilapidated place that I can see all the stars in heaven. I was so discouraged as if God has demoted me, taking me from nursing school. Nursing school, I don't go with chairs. I don't pay for generator. I don't go, I only carry instruments. And I only pay 200000 for a whole month very minimal and, 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 and wonderful but God said no that's not the place I want you to be at this place and when you come to this community in 2011 can I be honest with you there is nothing to write about you know what I'm saying it was a dark community full of evil I mean, at 8pm the place is totally dark totally dark uh, we were there at Maranatha, started our Bible study. I didn't do crusade, I didn't do evangelism. Uh, we did evangelism, but I start, I start with Bible study at the Maranatha school, and people came for Bible study. And from there, it has been something else. We moved from Maranatha school, and we have an issue with, with, the, with the one in charge of Maranatha school. We moved from Maranatha school to El Shaddai school, and we are there for about a year ago, a, sorry, for two years, and the owner have to sell the place. And that is why we are here. And we have been in this place for 10 years. This building was not like this. It was something like A.K.A. Butumiluk. It is Butu for enter. Hey, Pastor German, I tell me so say, no be no say, me no be no say this place short. Pastor, it is Butu. But thank God today, we pulled down the building and just in a space of two weeks, we erect this.
By the grace of God, we have also acquired land in Bo. We have two town lots at Danda Bo. And there are more to come. We have seen diverse miracles. We have seen souls saved. Even the revival we have, people gave their life on, is it on Thursday? On Thursday, people gave their life after you minister. People surrendered their life to Christ. And it was awesome. And we thank God for how far he has taken us. I've seen rebellion. I've seen those who are faithful. I've seen those who are committed. I've seen those who are untrustworthy. All type. I've seen. Tobiah. <laughs> so, 12 years, it has been good. And, and, and one thing I'm grateful to God is not only things should just go positively. The negative also help me to grow more. To do more. And I want to thank God for all the disobedient children. <laughs> so, it can go, yes. So, with them, both the aid and the word, you can't do it. So, welcome, can't see them. No problem. It has been awesome. And today, we are in this place. And we know God is not yet good with us. Jesus says, start. Where we are going is more bigger than this, more better than this, more glorious than this. Therefore, I will stop now. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. If you are excited, can you shout the name of Jesus? Tell your neighbor it can only be God. I said, tell your neighbor it can only be God. Amen. Where Satan give you facing cap, now you ain't the one to. And that is stop. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for ministration. We then take the facing cap, they will do confirm. That means the facing cap, the baptism. Then the next one will confirm. So that they baptize you and confirm you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Pastor Jericho and Pastor Festus. Hallelujah. We will not change that song though. The people will know when Satan gives you facing cap, now you aid. So by the time they wear the cap for them, prepare the head na the, na the chamber. How you call that? The chamber, not so. The charger. Ah, the charger. The charger, they put it on the back of the head. So when you go wear set and cap, they make the charger for put you in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody jam your hands together for Jesus. He has been faithful to us since the first day until today thanksgiving of this wonderful program we want to thank god with a song title daddy god i tell you thank you so man in our spirit so man died yesterday will be their life to give glory to god hallelujah stay blessed as i mean it.
For we now, the baptismal. I confirm we now. Do we come in your wine? But they can't take them. The part they give we come in your after they confirm. <laughs> Now you the bless me, confirm. Now you the make I confirm. 
Somebody say, confirm. Can I, you come on? Confirm. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, Con- Tell your neighbor, say, Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Pastor Jerry Day and Pastor Festus. Hallelujah. You know, who will be the come up? Who will be the year one parable say, We push not day. A rata take with him charge. When push day na oath, a rata they go side for day. So this is what is happening here this afternoon. There is a gentleman, there is a man that God has raised in this land that knows how to take money. When he's not around, then some of us will stand in that capacity. But when he's around, it is impossible for us to raise seed and offering. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to put our hands together for the right reverend, Dr. Lawrence Onyx Kekura Fangawa. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Your amen is not expecting a miracle. Hallelujah. Let your amen be the loudest today in the name of Jesus. Offering time. Offering time. We are reading from the book of Psalm 20, verse 1 and 3. Verse 1 to 3. Psalm number 20, verse 1, 2 and 3. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. I said to everybody, there is a day that will come in your life that is called the day of trouble. Today you might be okay. Today everything might be fine for you. But trouble days will knock on your door one day. When that day of trouble comes, what does God do for you? He said, the Lord shall hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the Lord, of the God of Jacob, defend thee. Verse 2. He shall send you help out of Zion. He shall Zion means the church. Help does not come from anywhere. Help comes from the church. It is from the church, the prayer of the church, that is what brings increase to a man. A prayer from the church, that is what changed a man's condition. Send thee help from thy sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Verse 3. That is where I am anchoring. He shall remember all. Somebody say all. Somebody say all. He shall remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifices. So in another words, for the first two to happen, for God to hear your prayer, for him to defend you, for him to send you help, depend on the offering that he will remember. It depends on the sacrifice that you have laid on the altar that God will use as a point of reference. When trouble comes knocking at your door, what does God use as your point of reference? Today we want to pick seed from this altar. We want to raise a seed from the altar. You are saying, my seed of remembrance. Seed that God will use to remember me when the rainy day come. When trouble day come, what will God use to remember me? I have played it on this altar. Hear me. I always tell people, I say the altar is a great place that many people don't have a revelation about. The scripture we just read, our brother just read, in the book of Genesis 28, and verse 12, the Bible says, Jacob dreamed, he saw a ladder from the heaven to the altar where he laid. And angels were ascending and descending on the altar. When you lay your seat on this altar, whatever thing you are asking God for, angels take it up to heaven. That is why you don't joke with altar. When they call you on the altar, when they challenge you to come to the altar, seize it as an opportunity. I want to see 50 people in this meeting that will say, Pastor, I don't have much, but I want God to remember me with a seat of 100,000. I'm laying it on this altar. You say, Pastor, I don't have much, but I want God to remember me in the day of my trouble. When trouble days come knocking at my door, let God use this seed of 100,000 on this altar, on this great exalted altar. One, two, three, 
Number four has come. Number five is here. Number six is here. I am number seven. We are still looking for 43. Oh, yes. I hear somebody say, in Arandi, I no let na church. Okay, all right. Eight. Eight, 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 eight. Eight. Eight, don't come. Where is number nine? Where is number nine? God, I don't have much. But upon this exalted altar, nine, don't come. Thank you, sir. Number ten is coming. God will bless you. Young lady, you shall go far. Where is number eleven? Upon this exalted altar, where galaxy of anointed servants of God sits. Lord, I place the man upon grace. I place the man upon the grace of this commission. The grace of the great servants of God. God used my seed as a point of reference. Number 10, where is number 11? Number 12, where are you? Number 13, number 14, you know, no come. 15, no come. 16, no come. Even 20, no come. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You say, Pastor, I don't have 100,000, but I want this God you are talking about to remember me. I want this God to remember me when I call. When I pray, let God hear me. I have a seed of 50,000. Can you run and join us, please? I tell people, if you dress to church and your dressing does not address you well, then there is something wrong somewhere. You cannot dress like salad and you are giving like cheque. No, 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 no. It's not possible. You dress like salad. Thank you, mommy. Number two has come. 50,000. You dress well. And they are raising seed to God. You are sitting down. You are smiling. Praise God. When they are raising seed, it's not the time to smile. It's the time to enter your bag, enter your purse, enter your pocket. 50,000. That is what I have. Man of God, I want to touch the grace, the grace of God upon this altar. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. 50,000. God bless you, sir. Apostle. 50,000. God, remember me this year. Let this year not end without having a miracle. Without having a testimony. God bless you, man. God bless you, mama. God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. As you touch this altar, whatever demand you have from God, God is receiving them in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. God bless you as you come. God bless you. 50,000. 50,000. God bless you. Young lady, God bless you. You say, Pastor, I don't have 50, but I want God to remember me. Thank you, man. God will make you give back safely. You shall not get any accident. No sudden misfortune will be for you. In the name of Jesus. You say, Pastor, I don't get 50, but I have 30,000 and I want God to remember me. Can you rush and join us, please? Can you please ro- rush to this altar? My father say, if you don't rush, Titi, come, come. Touch the altar. God bless you. Eh? I don't know how 2,000 will become 30 now. <laughs> but a revelation, the, the young girl gets revelation. God bless you. God bless you. 30,000. 30,000. He said, Pastor, I don't have 30. I have 20. I want to be part of this journey. Run to this altar. Run, run, run. Don't walk. Run. God bless you, Mama. God bless you, Sister. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Then people that will dance this snow. They, 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 they don't go. The one that will dance this snow. I don't see no one camp at this seat. Man. I make a call them. The dancers, dancers. One young girl be the way they dance, they smile like can you be that? I beg collect ten thousand come. Collect ten thousand and come. Where the other one? You don't go. Ten thousand. Where you dance for God, you forgive to God. 10,000, touch this altar. You say, I don't get much, pastor, but I have 10,000. Let God remember me. Let God take my dancing career to another level. I dance for God on this altar. I will dance international. Let your dancing gift take you far. Touch this altar, 10,000. Rush, 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 rush. 10,000, touch the altar, touch the altar. As you touch the altar, you are, you are having an exchange. 
You are giving to God. God is giving you back something. 10,000. You say, I'm not get 10,000. Me, me bishop say, all are not to the same. Pastor Steve, the people of say, say, all fingers are not equal. Praise God. You say, now 5,000, I get. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. Ask your neighbor, say, how much do you wait for? No, no, ask your neighbor, because I don't call you 5,000. I see some people still, still if people are saying, another, another kingdom, then they ask my say, neighbor, who's, how much do you wait for? The girls are 5,000, I know they call her amount. Now, offering that they collect. Praise God. So, I expect everybody for a rush come now. But I see some people, they still look, say, so say they can't go to 2,000. I know they pay. This, this small picking will not bring 2,000. I know they go again. It already bring a cam. 5,000. You have 5,000. Touch this altar. You see, even small picking, they come 5,000. This day, I know he left now. Church, what small picking out money? They make big mass. This you don't. Touch this altar, five thousand. God will bless you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tie up our foot and raise a wave offering to God. Father, Yamasu. Father, bless the offering of your people. As we give to the followers of your kingdom, let the blessings of heaven locate us and change our stories in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise and worship. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. Oh, you are marvelous.
We want for do a quick, quick, a willow sharp, sharp. You had a Megida envelope. I don't discover, say, we know they return people the envelope. It's a crime. Some people will collect envelope and put it under their bed. Some they go fling her. Why you go take God in? God in envelope. You go keep her under book. It's an error. We want to collect those envelopes. If they mean new envelopes, we they now invite the praise and worship team for sing, and then we bring those envelopes. Praise and worship. Please let's be upstanding as we collect our envelopes quickly. Now we praise you, Lord, for the rest of my life. We are praise you, Father, now I dance like a winner. I will thank you, Lord, for the rest of my life. You are blessed me, O Father, now I dance like a winner. I will praise you, Lord, for the rest of my life. We are praise you, Father, now I dance like a winner. Oh, oh, winner, oh, oh, winner, oh, oh, winner. together for Jesus and let's take our seat. Before we have the recognition of guest ministers, we want to have brief statements from two very important bodies in the nation of Sierra Leone. First of all, this afternoon, we want to hear a very brief statement from the Alliance of Full Gospel Ministries. Let's put hands together for the representative of the Alliance Hallelujah! If you are happy where you then are God in us, I want to let you shout Jesus. Amen. I know say we get pastors, we get ministers, then we get the members of this great commission. We get a group where they call Alliance. And they talk na Creole for let you get and well. This Alliance group, Papa God been speak to me, spiritual Papa, when I am to Dr. Moses K. He tell and say for bring pastors together. It's not easy for bring pastors then together. All man are big man, big woman. If you not take time, I they talk to one. It is vex. But we thank God for alliance because Papa God in hand day. And secondly, Papa God in hand day over in servant of God. Now that make it able to gather pastor them. When no plab and all day, understanding day with a flow in love and unity. This is now one of the group in Sierra Leone where they tell Una about. From where alliance begin, I don't want the argument between alliance pastor and alliance pastor. Where one a problem, everybody then gets that problem. If I'm for belongo, I explain this for let you belong. Some of you now say, 
Me, I'm not a join group. Me, na me one. Eh? You be one way problem, can I? You want to die. But when you deal with people, then they pray with you. And you stand the test of time. Papa God speaks to his servant and he obey. He formed this group. And I believe say this group is done 23 years. 23 years old. Not a big woman. He they cook now. Pass now on the poil on a picking them all. But if you know the poil you keep for cook now, he sabi take care of the house. The house go be neat inside Papa God in him. And we tell God thank you for we brother a friend somebody went down to earth. Some people as he don't get church on his own, he don't proud. Some they don't get church self he proud. He not sabi talk to person. But we thank God for the alliance pastors. Every then they respect everybody in position. And we get a law now this group here. Where you did it, we they contribute where you get a major problem, major program. We they contribute for you. But if you then you not contribute for person, then they're not gonna contribute for you. Like me, I get the, the book for apostles. Where you not contribute, where you turn rich, are they plain? And they contribute for you. Daddy, ah, daddy, he say, Barakasika, Barakafa. Hallelujah. And go, and come. Where you contribute for me, where you turn rich, are they contribute for you? And are they tell you something? This man, from where he joined Alliance, he no one day stop for pay in dues. So now he on ten dollars. But now we not see envelope there, the door, yeah? They said this envelope now for the church. No, 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 not for the church. This envelope now for the man of God. So now pull the eye, come out, day. Hallelujah. Because it contributes for others, others themselves contribute for them. And we can now call on them. For I can take in Lily and Nazi. Where tomorrow, the mommy, the only sugar 90, oh. the only top up na in mobile, the oh, for hey, hey. April, for next month, I fry. For the pan of the host. And I believe say men of God and they are way not belong. But with this kind of fat envelope where you see, you say not go join alliance. Then you give you date of your program. Now so we go go give you self. Oh, oh. Hallelujah. I'm sorry why they tin up here for communion of apostles. Because now we too they collect. Hallelujah. And I really sorry. We suppose for don't begin collect this money from last week, but now we fasting starts na battle acts ministry twenty one days fasting. But I've been tell God said the first five days I they go with dry. The fourth day I know they see light, and then they come out. So I not been the bother for go na the media self. I know the phone. I avoid phone. People they feel they are sick in a church because I know they late in a church. Let them know you for that. Then they call. You know what I do? My phone. I put her inside my drawer, locker. So when I don't done the Friday, where I check the phone, they call them. Boku. Now I say this are they go big. God, the grace where I don't go take that grace they touch them. And indeed, now so it happen. No. Where I go for swimming, spiritual papa see me. Uh, that grace will come out inside our house. As how Esther been fast, he do the sackcloth. I use that same method. Anybody will see me on Saturday. You the shine, oh. I be enter as an eagle. I pull the feather they all. I pull the beak. I pull the claws because I be one new feather, new claws. Hallelujah. So God be the glory. This man of God will join the communion of, of apostles. All in contribution he pay. In all the own. So I know this not just small tea. They want the way not pay it. At the harass them say, 
they go pay. And now they call the servants of God, the communion of apostles. Now today no more collect this so. Must know that way the week they done. Waiting God they do. Inside Jesus' name. From the communion of apostles. Put your hands together for the woman of God. Apostle. I read some Shuman. Thank you so much. We want to recognize the guests that are present here. Time is fast spent. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Reverend Apostle and Gage for recognition of the guest. Praise the Lord. Today we are honored with great men and women of God. My father is here. celebrate with us. Apostle Ayat Samsumana of the Battle Axe Ministry. <laughs> Reverend Elizabeth Sandy of Grace Ministry. <laughs> Reverend Isa Lansana Kalon of Mount Zion Deliverance Ministry. <laughs> Reverend Apostle Hassan Kamara of the Exeter Pentecostal Ministry International. This is Pastor Snat's father. Can you stand up so that they can see you? Your grace is all I see. Na, na, na. Your mercy is all I see. Daily, daily, daily. It, please thank you we still we want to recognize Jeremiah K <laughs> Pastor Jeremiah K Pastor First of Power of the Battle Axe Ministry Reverend James, is it Peters? Reverend James. Of Jem. God bless you, sir. Evangelist Solomon RCC of Jesus, the Answer Deliverance Ministry. Minister Emmanuel Pentimity, Apostle Cisse, Apostolic Elder Boisid Phillips, Pastor Sulaman Gosonemo Bongo of Omega Fire Ministry. Apostle Paul Senesi of New Wine. New Vine. New Vine Ministry. God bless you, sir. Reverend Evangelist Lawrence. Oni. Pangawa. Of the Battle Arts Ministry. Of course, chairman for the program. Reverend Pastor Daniel Yambasu 
Pastor Gideon Safa, the Air Force One, Apostle Abraham Shaka Kamara, Reverend Sabtu Wuri, of course, my mother in the Lord, Reverend Maureen Kay. Also, the one that sings fire in my bones, Reverend Dauda. God bless you, sir. Put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Alfredo, I don't see the choir. Afraid. Praise God. Hallelujah. I wish I don't enter the wrong church. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to hear the voice of this house. The angelic voices. Put your hands together for the choir as they bless us this afternoon. I saw you the clap for them. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Are we in the sanctuary? Are we in the mortuary? Are we in the sanctuary? Somebody shout his name! Jesus! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We the living things where we are here to bless your heart with a composed song. So sit tight and be blessed. Oh, my God. 
your heart with another composed song which is the team song El Bethel, God in the house of God. Be blessed as we minister.
Choir, as they come to bless our hearts before the ministration of the word, put your hands together for the battle acts choir. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jam your hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Jam your hands together for our Father in the Lord and our Mother in the Lord. Somebody make some noise. Jam your hands together and celebrate. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We give you praise.
praise the name of the Lord. The moment and the hour we have been waiting for is here. I said the moment and the hour we have been waiting for is here. You cannot be sitting down and expecting a miracle. When you want to expect a miracle, you stand to your feet. Ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together as I bring to this microphone. God's servant, my father, your father, the apostle of fire, apostle doctor, Moses. Amen. Amen. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? And not say we may clean the hands. Clap for Jesus. Amen. And not say the day is fast spent. And the reason why all the great people here then they are. Hey, people, I know so they don't introduce them to now. Give me volume here. Yeah? You see me, I'm voice don't go ahead. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The people are a big, big man there with their soul. General overseers them. Of big, big churches there. Hallelujah. My church now one of the smallest and the youngest as compared to on a more serious note. One of the youngest, they are busy people. They don't get their service this morning. And me, after the service, I go one big, big berry. And they are long, around, come out as the top of priest no more. That job come out. The reason why we are here is because you have a very good pastor. The reason why we are here, all the man there with very busy schedule, is because you have a very, very good pastor. My wife, not all program it go. My wife, mama, first lady. I try for tell her, say, you tire, go. Let me go. You say, no, no, no. I will go with you to that program. Babe. Because you have a wonderful pastor. Let me see. The Apostle Emmy Cage. Now just one sweet person where you go love for the around. Hallelujah. Very calm, very composed, yet very dynamic. And I can wonder if he combined the two. He looks very quiet, but when he gets on the mic, no, he's not a quiet man. It's like how they describe Jesus lamb and the lion. Hallelujah. Man of God, we are grateful to be here. We thank, we thank God Almighty for connecting us to you, and you've been very instrumental both in of full gospel ministries and the Jesus. hallelujah Amen. thank you very much may God bless you I don't see any reason to make you forget this kind pastor you left him you go begin run after other pastors then. I don't see any reason why you go left this kind church you begin run after other church talk to anybody so anybody is the best place to be Help me say that to tell people. Say, neighbor, 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 neighbor. If you don't make me my canary, please. Come on, they, and they pull you hand out. Say, neighbor, this is the best place to be. Honestly speaking, I'm going to talk for 15 minutes. I'm going to preach for 15 minutes. When I don't preach for 15 minutes, I invite Apostle Shaka. Where they can do thanksgiving offering. Man, we get anointing in that area. <laughs> Hallelujah. 15 minutes. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you. The Bible says faith can be by hearing the word of God. We thank you for a week of celebration. A week of deliverance, miracles, signs, prophecies. We cannot end this program without delving into the world. Yes. Open our eyes of understanding. Amen. And give us grace. The word that we receive today will give us strength to go on. Amen. Give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are reading from the book of Genesis 28. We are going to read from verse 11 to 22. I bring a message that is titled Divine Visitation. Yes. Somebody say divine visitation. Divine visitation. Somebody say divine visitation. Divine visitation. I stand upon this altar tonight and prophesy. I receive. After this service. Yes. You will have an encounter with the Lord. Amen. After this service. Yes. Sir. My God shall visit your marriage. Amen. He shall visit your ministry. Amen. He shall visit your business. Amen. He shall visit your personal life. Amen. If you can stand to your feet and shout, Amen, may God visit you. Genesis 28 verse 11. Genesis 28 verse 11. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took the he took of the stones of the place and put them for his pillow and lay down in that place to sleep. Verse 12. And he dreamed and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, angels of God ascending and descending on it. Verse 13. And behold, the Lord stood upon it. And, and the said, Lord stood above it. The man was running away from trouble. And he passed the night, he passed the night in a certain place. Yes. Because the Bible says, the sun was set. Even if it don't come, the place dark. He could not run anymore. Yes, sir. So he decided to spend the night in a certain place. Mm. For a pillow, he used stones. And right in that place, God visited him. Yes, sir. May God visit somebody today. Amen. May, he, he was not looking for God. Yes, sir. He was not seeking for God. He not go to church for good praying. Uh -huh. He not go to crusade ground. For go pray. Yes, sir. He was running away from his brother Esau. Wanted to because of his wuru wuru life. Yes, sir. Because of his GBT and four one nine. Praise God. And the Bible says he ran and ran and ran and he was tired. And the sun was set. He decided to spend the night in a certain place, and in that place. He had an encounter. Yes, sir. I stand upon this altar, Professor. I receive. May you have an encounter today. Amen. Look at verse 13. And, uh, and behold, the Lord stood upon it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham. Wow. Father. God visited him and introduced himself to Jacob. He said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father. The God of Isaac, the land where thou rest, liest to thee, thou liest to thee will, I will I give it unto to thy, thy seed. Verse 14. Verse 14. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and Can to the north. Can you skip and, and the... jump over to verse 15? Verse 15. And behold, I am with thee. And will keep thee in all places whether thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. The Lord said, Behold, look at the word of assurance that God gave to Jacob as he was running away from trouble. He said, I am with thee, I will keep thee in all places 
whither thou goest. Yes, sir. I will bring thee again into this land. Yes, sir. For I will not leave thee, I will not abandon thee until I have done that which I have spoken concerning. That is to say, I will not leave you until I fulfill every promise that I have spoken concerning thee. Yes, sir. I stand upon this altar. I promise. I receive whatsoever God has in you, it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. What, what is the purpose of divine visitation? When God visits you, everything about you will change for the better. Past promises and prophecies shall be turned into fulfillment. Yes. I on this altar tonight, I prophesy every promise that God has made concerning you is coming to pass in this season. Amen. People of God, I want to move to the next point that every divine visitation always results in supernatural manifestation. Yes. Every divine visitation always, all the time, it results to supernatural manifestation. When God steps into any difficult situation in your life, His mighty acts, signs, wonders are inevitable. I prophesy from today, as God enter your family, as God enter your ministry, as God enter your business, things are changing for the better. You are going up and you will not go down. You shall be the head, you will not be the tail. You shall fly higher, you will not go down. If you can raise your hand and shout, Amen, may God answer. Ladies and gentlemen, the best thing that can happen to anyone is for the Almighty God to visit that person. Your life can never be the same after a divine visitation. The best thing that can happen to anybody is for God to visit you. Because when God visits you, your life will never, never remain the same. Yes. From today, your life is turning for the better. Amen. From today, your life is turning for the better. Amen. There are two ways God visits people. He can either visit you directly. He visits you directly. That is when God appears directly to a person of God touching a person directly. An example we see is in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verse 25. The Bible says, Paul and Silas were beaten ignominiously, and they were locked in a dungeon, in a prison, in a prison cell. Hallelujah. But instead of grumbling and murmuring, the Bible says, at midnight, Paul and Silas sang praises to God. One of the ways to provoke divine visitation is praise and worship. Hallelujah. It was Martin Luther that said the devil is a chronic grumbler but a child of God must be a living doxology. He said the devil is a chronic grumbler but a child of God must be a living doxology. The word doxology is from the word doxa, which means praise. Hallelujah. The devil and the children of the devil, they are chronic grumblers. But a child of God must be a living praise. It is said that prayer moves mountain, but praises moves God. I would rather move God than move mountains. Because when God moves, every other thing shall move. I upon this altar I prophesy may God move on your behalf if you can stand to your feet and shout amen may God move in Jesus name the Bible says at midnight Paul and Silas provoked heaven sang praises unto the Lord and the Bible says suddenly suddenly there was a mighty earthquake that shook the foundations of the temple. The Bible said the doors were flung open and everyone's bound or chains were loose. I stand up on this altar. I prophesy 
every chain of sickness every chain of poverty every chain of disgrace if you can stand up and shout amen and then be broken by fire hallelujah so god used to visit you directly he appeared to moses directly another way that god visits people he can visit you indirectly god visits directly by sending his servant to a person or by sending an angel in the to the person for example in after the apostle chapter 12 the bible says peter was locked in a prison hallelujah peter was arrested the bible said and first of all herod killed and when he saw that it pleased the Jews, the enemy of the church, he proceeded and captured Peter and kept him in prison, waiting after the Passover, they will bring him and kill him. I stand by this altar, I prophesy. You are unkillable. Amen. You are undiable. Amen. You will not die before your time. Amen. If you can jump up and shout, Amen, may God deliver you from trouble. this case God dispatched an angel the moment the angel landed Gideba in the cell all the soldiers they dropped under the anointing and the angel touched Peter and said get up as soon as Peter got up all the handcuffs jumped off. hallelujah and they said Peter follow me Peter must have been thinking what about the gate so just follow hallelujah when God visits you you walk out of your prison without trouble. Amen. I bet them. Yeah! I will build you a house. Ladies and gentlemen, this is better. And this program is better. It's a place. I will build you a house. Right at this moment, I want us to put our hands together to bring as it takes over from this point. Now say they clap. Now say they clap. Put your hands together for Jesus. Sir. We are now in a battle, the house of the house of God. Look at a word of God here for us this moment. Psalm 107 and verse number 22. It said, Let them sacrifice thank offering and tell of his works with songs of joy. Let them sacrifice the sacrifice of thanksgiving and declare the works with rejoicing. People of God, I no know, I no know how you, how you they feel the, 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 the presence of God is here. God there. Amen. You see, the moment uh, Jacob recognized God there, that man being the go, not get money now in pocket. Nothing not the small oil. The Bible says he built an altar and poured oil upon that altar and made a covenant with God. Poured oil. The only thing where the man gets now on. Pour that oil. Whatsoever amount you have tonight, let it be your oil on the altar. No wonder God not, not, not forget Jacob. If you get 100,000, if you get 50,000, new years, 100 years, 50 years, touch this altar. Read the Bible, fine. The Bible says Jacob built altar after that encounter and poured oil. The only thing get let them bring a sacrifice of thanksgiving, a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and declare his work with joy. You want the joy for 2024? Wait in the apple. This mic, give me other one. Give me other one. This mic, one poor business. Sir. If now 1,000, you get bring and come, bring and come 1,000 loans. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray before I leave this place. Sir. Father, bless. bless. No left, no left, no left, no left. Bless this altar. Bless us, O oh God, as we touch this altar with our sacrifice of thanksgiving. We declare your works unto men. Give us joy for 2024 in the name of Jesus. Sir. Put your hands together to celebrate the word of God. God will visit you in the name of Jesus. Lord. God will visit you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow. Deep revelation. He poured oil. Oil. It's an enlightenment. 
Hmm. It's an enlightenment. That's why I never run dry. Praise the Lord. This afternoon, I want us to join. I want you to join me in prayer for Reverend Hassan Kamara. Tomorrow it will be seventy-six year. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven year. And you come forward, sir. He asks us that for him. Mr. Wa reach la eight day. Seventy-seven. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. We want for pray, man, for man of God, 77 years. And I use you. Some people still preaching. Some people are 72. They don't bend cough. Hallelujah. I want to stretch your hand towards them and pray that God will continue to keep him until he's 90, 95. Why am I being in here with church? 106 years. Hallelujah. She called me, say, Pastor, they are big. And say, me, I don't tire now. May I tell the power? Say, me, I want to go rest. Praise God. And after that prayer, then she lived for another four years. Praise God. You will live long. You will not die. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hand and pray for him. All servants of God, may not go. May not come close. May not touch him. May God continue to keep him. It's not easy. When you don't enter 70, it's not easy. From that point, say now. The body <laughs> can get us the way they do you. Praise God. We'll get one right now in our church. It can just in absolute lost by itself. If we invite a man to do something, I want to wait on now. You don't know what to do again. What if we go back or what in Lord, we pray for good health. We pray for long life. Three score and ten years. By reason of strength. He will enter 80 and 90. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. We cancel all the program of the devil. He will get stronger and stronger. Your sight will be better and better. You will be good and best. In Jesus' name we pray. May Papa live for 89 years. At 89, is still the... Wait, wait, Pastor. We, we they can't put money in your hand. Yeah, yeah, so that anybody who will live long can't put something in your hand. 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. If you want to live long, if you want to live long, can't key into this anointing. So, man, they will not get again when I so. You will not get a problem. Praise God. Can't key into this anointing. He will live long. Praise God. As many as they touch him with money, you will live long. Praise God. Come and key. Pastors, we need to live long. We shall enjoy the fruit of our labor in the name of Jesus. We shall enjoy the fruit of our labor. We shall not die untimely. We shall not die premature in the name of Jesus. Good health, long life, prosperity, favor is our portion. Don't forget on a man of God. Now, a man of God, you cannot give a man of God and be the same. Bible says, even if it's just a cup of water, you will not lack your reward. Hallelujah. Pastor Gage, can I take this mic, please? Thank you very much, sir. If you want to live wrong, connect. Self count, come with you five thousand, ten thousand, and they self count. Drop us. I want to live long. I want to live 80, 90 years. When you put in, are you they you pass? You they enter 90, 100 in Jesus. Please, then, Pastor, they would have cannot snap with you. Our beloved man of God, praise God. Now, snap with him.
Saturday, we get a wedding. This fire in the marriage Saturday. Somebody say, Whoa, yo. Say, We did a life. Where pass on that? Saturday, a wedding. Uh -huh. You see this bar? I begin this. And this Saturday, they married. Whether you accept it or not, they married. Where they both outside hide? Can I, can I, can I? Come, 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 come. Apostle will prophesy wedding. This one, it takes Saturday, sir. You want the Lord get the Lord be blessed. The Lord be blessed. Now strictly by invitation. No, openly by non-invitation. The wedding they take place now. They were in church. Christ family, uh, um, Christ family fellowship. Or twelve thirty. Who's one? 12 taps is sharp sharp and along everything sharp the reception latter day saint you know it was happy he says saint latter day saint hall abani road you know he changed you don't begin to forget all things with the eat beach the all type of beach would they make fry beach steam beach Olele, uh, Ababa, support them, and see what God will do for you. Another wedding day came back. But land that keep on for now. God bless you. Take your seats. Where is Dickiness for the announcements? Where is she? Dickiness Mabinti. She is nowhere. To... Ah, Dickiness is for other ministry. Now, this is, not, this is not living screen ministry with a myth on, on Sundays for refreshing moment, 9 a.m. to 11.30. On, on Tuesday for intercessory, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. On Wednesday for a Bible study, 6.30 to 8 p.m. On Friday for miracle and revival service, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Feel free for attend all with services at any time. You are welcome. This is God's house. As long as you're a child of God, you are welcome into this house. It's your father's house. We also do on Facebook Live, Living Screen Ministry at Facebook, and also Living Screen Ministry at YouTube channel. So visit with Facebook, like and share, and also with YouTube channel. Do likewise. God bless you. We will call upon Elder Grace and only himself engage again. Elder Grace again. Okay, he engage. One for tell all man thank you. We want to say thank you to me, Papa, Apostle Reverend Dr. Moses K, and the Mama Reverend Maureen K, for where they make this particular time. They make her feel proud, feel good, and all the Alliance pastors, and all the communion of Apostle pastors, and all the pastors that we come, you show me, say, I belong. You show me, say, you love me. And you show the church, say, yes, you get concerned about us. And God bless you. As you pay, you honor we, may God honor you. And for say to all we guests them, all we invitees them, thank you for coming. You make we, we day great. We make you, we feel fine. And thank you as you honor we. Heaven will cause men to honor you. Heaven will cause people to honor you. All what you deserve from heaven, I stand upon this altar. And I pray for you that God will grant you in the name of Jesus. I say this year go hang well for you. I say this year go went well for you. When others will be complaining, you will be proclaiming the goodness of God. When others will say it is not working, you will say with me, all things are working for my good. May the Lord bless you. May cause his face to shine upon you. May it take you safe to your various destination. And this month, we end with your testimony. In Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest remain and abide with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.